Good afternoon, everyone, which is logging in. Uh, my name is Rani Skruwala, and uh, I um, have founded and uh, at the Swadesh Foundation, and um, Falgun here, one of the founders at our uh, grad. So uh, this is just a sh short session, and thank you all for logging in. I think at the latest count, we've got about 150 people that have logged in, uh, and hopefully more will join, and then we're broadcasting this uh, and sending it loud, uh, live to whoever else has done that. So just a quick... Um, background, this conversation is more about your application to the Swadesh Data Science Scholarship Program, which uh, we announced a week back and all of you all have participated in. Quick background on Swadesh Foundation, um, it's been an organization that's been about 20 to 25 years old. It's a not-for-profit. Uh, we really operate in rural India and about that in Maharashtra state. Uh, but one of our key focus areas outside of water, sanitation, health, and education is livelihood. And in livelihood, one of our top three initiatives is skill development and then subsequent placement of people and or their income enhancement. So under the overall auspices of Swadesh's key goal for uh, skilling, uh, life-changing events and placements and or income augmentation, uh, we decided that in the education space, outside of what we do in the skilling across India, uh, I think, and, and I would say we're one of the top four in India that are, that are either working with people to train them and also to help them in terms of placement or incremental jobs. In that context, I think online learning and education is a very, very strong initiative. And I think over the next year, two years, five years, and 10 years is only going to be one of the key ways in which people are going to learn, will learn to upskill, uh, and at a senior level. And I think the careers of tomorrow and the and the sectors in which this is going to be more prevalent is obviously things that for all of you all are familiar with, anything to do with all of the new technologies and the way the consumer thinks afresh and from data to um, digital and everything there. And therefore, one of our focuses for the upgrad program has always been data science and data analytics. Um, we found that while there's been an incredible amount of interest, and already we've we've done almost how many uh, how many courses by now at Upgrad? About seven cohorts of our data science. Program. Seven cohorts of our data science program. And just to be very clear, this is uh, in collaboration with Triple IT Bangalore and Upgrad, uh, and we've already done seven courses by, and I think about total number of students that would have been in the seven. About courses, three thousand students. But have already been about in the program. There have been three thousand students that are already in the program, and some of them have already graduated. So with that background, we felt with a lot of people that there was incredible credentials uh, and a lot of people with a lot of strong ambition. And sometimes they needed financial assistance at this early stage in their career, which is why we launched the specific Swadesh uh, Data Science Scholarship Program. Um, the trigger for me was when we, uh, I spoke to my co-founder at Upgrad, uh, Mayank, and Professor uh, Sadagopan at uh, IIIT Bangalore, who's the dean and the principal there. And I think one of the things you need to understand is that we have 40,000 of you all applying every year for our online data science program. And that's very important to understand that. And we found feedback from a lot of people that at the final stages, they wanted to, they completed the exam, they completed the test. There was a lot of ambition, but they were lacking on financial resources. There's that much any uh, not-for-profit can do. But this year, what has transpired over the last week is that we've had uh, how many applications overall? Uh, for the Swadesh Foundation Scholarship, we have about 4,500 people. So 4,500 people of all of you all actually applied over the last five days. And they applied pretty much with a three-day notice period, which we think just talks about the online medium, talks about the importance of data science and others. From that, uh, we're happy to know that many of you all took the test uh, and completed that within the time period of the last weekend. And we have now shortlisted 400 people who would be eligible on a first come, first serve basis to avail of a total and a maximum of 100 scholarships in this round. Now, these are substantial amount, uh, amounts in each scholarship. I mean, the range of our scholarship would be between 1,25,000 and 1,75,000 rupees. Yeah. And in that range that the Swadesh Foundation is giving to each of you all. So my first communication to you is, it's very important that you understand what exactly is being given because we believe it's a life-changing event for you and therefore this is a substantive amount for your learning over the next 11 months. It's very, very critical that the place that you've been given, somebody else has been denied and therefore you need to look at it with the same seriousness. 
which is why it's really important that we want each of you to contribute the amount that we've told you that you need to contribute as part of your it's a small percentage but it's an important percentage for us to know that you two have skin in the game and there's a clear commitment because our gratification of you availing of the scholarship is one that you complete the course that you do well in it and hopefully it either helps you get a different job a better job or in your same organization a promotion or in your same organization an increment or it's a great reservoir for you to have in terms of your knowledge and you can use it as you go forward in your career not everything is about changing your job overnight in that context so i think that's the general uh, approach and um, now i'll leave it to you sure thanks ronnie uh, so just to give you a sense of uh, a lot of you sent in questions for this webinar and a lot of them were around the program and the next steps for the specific scholarship that we launched so i'll briefly talk about the program so we launched this program as Ronnie mentioned about two and a half years back in collaboration with IIIT Bangalore, which is one of the premier technology institutes in the country. So our data science program right now, as Ronnie mentioned, we get around forty thousand people applying for this program every year, of which we get about two thousand five hundred students to do the program based on our shortlisting process. Uh, this is an eleven-month PG diploma program, and if you successfully complete it, you get the PG diploma credential from IIIT Bangalore. And as Ronnie mentioned, so far we have about seven cohorts where we have enrolled about 3,000 students. Uh, it is rated as one of the top data science programs in the country by various sources. Uh, to give you a sense, a lot of you asked us about, okay, how is this program going to be helpful for me if I have a certain years of experience? So just to give you a certain uh, demographic distribution, 30% uh, of our students have zero to five years of work experience. 30% of our students have five to 10 years of work experience. And the other third have greater than 10 years of work experience. And what we have seen consistently is that people across work experience have been able to derive a lot of value from the program. One, in terms of career transitions, and two, in terms of doing much better at their current job and in their current projects that they're leading. So uh, our, one of our counselors will get in touch with you to give you a more detailed understanding of how this can specifically help you. But we've seen that the program, the way it is structured and delivered uh, with the mentorship elements included in it, will ensure that you get a lot of value in terms of career transitions and doing well in your existing job. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk about uh, is the process itself, the Swadesh uh, Foundation scholarship process. As Ronnie mentioned earlier, the amount of scholarship we're giving out is a very large amount. Uh, Swadesh Foundation is uh, generously, it's generously contributing anywhere between 75 to 90% of the program fee. Uh, the program and just to sort of top that up, I think the total amount of outlay that the Swadesh Foundation has done for this entire initiative this quarter is about three crores. Three crores. It's yeah. rupees three crores, cumulatively amounts to all of you. And uh, I think this is a great opportunity for all of you. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, more than 300 professionals who have completed our program, so 3,000 people have enrolled, roughly 600 to 700 people would have graduated from our programs of which a lot of people are using the program in their existing jobs, but more than 300 people have successfully transitioned to new jobs as well in terms of career impact that Ronnie was talking about earlier. Uh, so most of you, first of all, congratulations have received the Swadesh scholarship, anywhere between 75 to 90% of the program fee is being offered as a scholarship amount. Uh, and in terms of next steps, I think you must have already received the email. Uh, one of our counselors will get in touch with you shortly to answer any questions you have, any concerns you have about the process, and if there's any further understanding that you need. Uh, but the next steps would be that uh, you can. Sorry, I'm just. Add, I think this part is very, very important that you understand that because I think you've you put some effort over the last week. You've done a 40-minute test, but now if you really want to avail of it, I do want to clarify. We do have 400 high-quality applications that we have finally received that we've sort of sequenced down from the thousands of applications that we've received. Of the 400, I'm afraid, whether we like it or not, it's on a first come first serve basis. So the deadline that Falun is now going to share with you, which is the outer date of, of, the, of the evening of 9th, which is uh, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Please try and understand the discipline of it and the adherence of it so that you're not disappointed. At the end of the day, only 100 out of the 400 of you will be availing of this scholarship. But it's absolutely important this last leg is completed in its totalness. Yeah, uh, just to uh, elaborate on that, of the 4,500 people who have applied for the scholarship, we have shortlisted less than 10% of the people. That is about 400 people who have been shortlisted for the scholarship. But as Ronnie mentioned, there are only 100 scholarships that we can give away in this now. So it will be on a first come, first serve basis. The outer deadline for this is midnight of Sunday this week, which is September 9th. But that being said, it can, the scholarships can close much earlier than that if the 100 seats are filled up. 
So again, to reiterate, would request you to close the process as soon as possible. And the process would involve you paying uh, the amount that has been communicated to you. It, it is the delta between what the Swadesh Scholarship Foundation is and uh, the 2.35 lakh amount, which is the program fee. So you'll be completing that and the rest of the amount is something that the Swadesh Foundation uh, will complete in terms of the admissions process. Uh, so just to iterate again, uh, one of our counselors will get in touch with you to answer any questions around the program, any questions about the process. I just want to reiterate the fact that there are, you are in the selected 10% that have been shortlisted for the scholarship uh, and we have 100 scholarships to give away in this round. So please do complete the process at the earliest, uh, which would include paying the block amount uh, that has been communicated to you and the rest of it will be handled uh, in terms of the process. And just on behalf of Swadesh Foundation, I want to re-clarify. Even if all of you all have deposited the amounts that you have and filled in your form in its completeness, because both are very important criterions, please understand that all of them will not be able to be accommodated. The first 100 people of the 400 that are fully qualified for this are the ones that we're going to be able to do. And the rest, you will get a refund or a non-acceptance of your fee as you get that, uh, whatever you contributed. So just to be clear, just because you actually paid the fee on or before Sunday 9th, does not finally entitle you to this scholarship because we only have 100 seats and uh, 100 scholarships to give out as far as this is concerned. Upgrad in itself has limited quotas for what they do and they have their own timeline. So we have been able to get 100 seats in this category for us to do the scholarship. So it's very, very finite. Even if you've complied with it, that does not mean that you will be successful in having got it because it will be on a first come, first serve basis. And anyone outside of that, your money is really refunded. So I think it's important that you understand this step so that you do not believe that it's your right, that just because you completed the process, you will get this scholarship. Perfect. Uh, that's it. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank Ronnie. you very much. Thanks a lot. And congratulations on the scholarship and look forward to seeing most of you in the program. Great. Thank you.